Hey everyone! Almost two years ago, back in October 2013, I reviewed this coffee maker, the Hamilton Beach Two-Way Flex Brew Coffee Maker. If you'd like to see that previous review video, click right over there. Now, lots of people saw that review and they emailed me lots of questions about how to use this coffee maker and some issues that they had with it. So in this video, I just wanted to give you an update and address some of the most frequent questions and concerns about the Hamilton Beach Two-Way Flex Brew Coffee Maker. So probably the question that I receive most often is also hardest to answer in words. So I wanted to give a quick video demonstration. This is the K-cup insert and this is the tray into which the insert fits. And the question is, how do you get the insert to fit into the tray? Well, it's hard to describe, but easy to demo. Notice that the insert has an end here with two knobs on it and the tray has a groove. So put the two knobs into the groove and then shove back in the groove until the two knobs lock into place. And now they act like an axis around which the insert can rotate. And you're done. If you want to remove the insert, say to wash everything, simply reverse the process. Twist and lift. Now that the insert is in the outer tray, if you want to make coffee, simply insert your K-cup into the K-cup holder, press down till it snaps in place and notice that everything is, is flat here on top. There's nothing sticking out. And now insert the K-cup into the K-cup side of the coffee maker and remember to press down on this lever. And now we get to a second common question that I get, and that deals with putting water into the coffee machine when you want to make one cup of coffee with a K-cup. And so I just have, you can't really see, but I have uh, one mug's worth of water. Water comes up to about here in the mug. Simply lift the K-cup lid for the water reservoir and pour in. Now this is key. You'll notice on the side of the coffee machine there's a water level indicator and if you're just using the K-cup you just make one cup of coffee at a time. So the water level cannot go above this max line. Okay, if you put two cups of coffee in it, I mean, this is not like the, the Nespresso coffee machines where you fill up the water reservoir and then you keep making coffee until the water reservoir empties. This is one cup of water, one cup of coffee. If you put in two cups of water, then when you try to make coffee, you will get an error message here and you're going to have to remove the, the, uh, K-cup tray, you're going to have to remove the mug from the mug, the, the stand here, and you're going to have to take this coffee machine over to a sink and dump out the excess water. I would then run the remaining water that is in here from the bad batch that you, you, you kind of messed up on, um, run it through, and then start all over again. Put your coffee back into the, the machine here, take one mug of coffee, Put it into the water reservoir, put, put your cup back onto the holder, make sure that this indicator is on K-cup, and then press brew. And now we get to the third most common question about this coffee machine, and that revolves around a bad design decision that Hamilton Beach made when they made this coffee machine. So I want to be sure and point it out. This two-way flex brew, it's actually like a, like a duplex house, right? You've got the carafe side of the coffee machine and you've got the K-cup side of the coffee machine. When you wanna make coffee with your K-cup, you put water into the K-cup water reservoir. When you wanna make coffee with the carafe, you put water into the 
carafe side of the coffee machine. They're, they're kind of two coffee machines stuck together. Now here's the bad design decision. When you're using just the K-cup side, and I want to make a cup of coffee here, just one mug, Hamilton Beach turns on the hot plate for the carafe. This will get very hot. So to me, that's a danger, especially if you have children or you know if you're not careful and you're reaching across the coffee machine, you may burn yourself because this will get very, very hot. Even though you're not using the carafe, <laughs> even though you're trying to make coffee with the K-cup, Hamilton Beach is gonna turn that stupid hot plate on whether you're using this side or not. Now that's a bad decision. However, uh, once you're done making a cup of coffee on the K-cup side, it only takes you know three minutes or so, this uh, hot plate will turn off and eventually it will cool down. But I just want everyone to be aware that the hot plate does turn on even though you're not using the hot plate, even though you're not using the carafe, even though you're not making a carafe of coffee, even though you're only making a K-cup worth of coffee, they're gonna turn that silly hot plate on. So just be aware of it. I don't know of any way to turn it off. Um, don't touch it when it's hot. And now the last most common uh, question or concern that I get about this Hamilton Beach coffee maker, and some people get mad at me. Look, I, I didn't make this coffee machine. I'm not getting paid by Hamilton Beach to to endorse this coffee machine. I just made a review of this coffee maker. Why? Because for the last two years, I have been making coffee, cake up with this coffee machine, and I personally have had no problem. But from the large number of comments to the contrary, I think Hamilton Beach has a quality control issue with this particular coffee maker. Lots of people report that when they first go to make coffee with this coffee machine, it like leaks. It like leaks water out of the base of the coffee maker. That's a defect. You've got a lemon. They have bad quality control. Send it back. I don't know how to fix that leak coming, you know, water coming out of the base of the coffee maker. I've never had a leak, but the coffee maker is not supposed to leak out of the base of the, the machine. So send it back. When you first get the unit, give it a try. Put some water in, try to make coffee, see if it's going to leak. Now, the, the second concern, again, I think it's more of a quality control issue that people have with this, is that when you first make coffee, it has kind of a, like a plastic taste to the coffee. Now, whenever I get any coffee machine, I always run through several times uh, plain water or water with maybe 10% vinegar to flush out all of the, the plastic residue that might be left over from manufacturing, might be trapped in the, in the tubes. Just run a couple batches of water through the machine just to flush everything out. Now, after you've done that, if you still have a really burning, uh, plasticky taste, there are a couple things that could be wrong. It could be that the heating element in the coffee machine is, for quality control reasons, you know, they, they turned way up and it's too hot. So you're just like burning the, you know, melting the plastic. And so that's a defect in the coffee machine. Return it. I don't know how to fix it. Another issue might be, well, you just didn't, you know, clean and flush out the coffee machine. So try running a couple batches of water or water with vinegar to see if that reduces the, the plasticky taste or odor. The third reason for that, that problem that I tried to come up with is maybe look at the brand of the K-cup capsules that you're using. Could be maybe you're using some off brand, you know, and, and they uh, didn't manufacture the, the capsules uh, up to spec. And so maybe there's some defect in the, the capsules that you're using. Now, I'm not endorsing these. These are, these are just uh, flavors that, that I like in particular. And this is the Green Mountain Dark Magic and the uh, uh, Twinings uh, Earl Grey. I like these. Uh, I don't get plasticky taste uh, when, I, when I make coffee with these. Um, but, you know, if, if you've 
run through the other uh, 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 debugging uh, solutions and you still have that plasticky taste, m maybe try switching a different brand of, of cake cup. If you still have the bad plastic uh, taste and odor after all trying all of those solutions, send it back. You have unfortunately bought a lemon. So that's it for a quick update on the Hamilton Beach two-way Flex Brew coffee maker. I hope that answers a lot of people's questions and concerns about the coffee machine. If I didn't address something, I'll give it my best shot. Uh, uh, send in a question or comment in the description below this video and I'll try to uh, address the question or concern as, as best I can. If you'd like to see another video that I've made, click right over there. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any more videos coming your way soon. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.